Time now for a look through the international headlines we're following on this Wednesday morning. For that, we turn to Eunice Kim, standing by at the news centre. Hello there, Eunice. Good morning, Mark. So we're beginning to see some reaction to yesterday's airstrikes on Islamic State targets by US and those five Arab states that joined in. Let's begin with the Al Nusra Front. Uh, this uh, terror group in Syria says an assault and airstrike has killed their leader. That's right, Mark. The Al Nusra Front probably is the lesser known brother to the Islamic State group, both of which had their beginnings with Al Qaeda years ago. Now, just hours ago, the Syria based extremist group released a statement on Twitter claiming that their leader, Abu Yusuf al Turki, was killed during the fierce air raids of yesterday, attaching a photograph and an apparent proof of death. Now, no comment yet from authorities, though the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights did say the front was targeted during Tuesday's assault. Meanwhile, Turkey, an important U.S. ally that had been reticent to join the U.S.-led coalition against IS in an apparent shift in stance, has said it is ready to give military or logistical support to the operation that U.S. officials now say could extend to years. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the FBI, meanwhile, issued a terror bulletin today to local and state authorities, Warning not of a large scale organized attack, but of retali retaliatory attacks by lone wolf sympathizers against yesterday's airborne offensive that, of course, had leashed some 200 strikes on IS military targets.